Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are seeing what if every single NBA player in the current NBA were in their NBA Prime. So this roster was made by Franchise City. He makes a ton of awesome rosters for me to use in my channel here, guys. I'll link to his channel in the description below. Be sure to go check him out. Show him that Crispy support. But yes, yeah, so when you guys are watching this video, keep in mind that there is no speculation in this video. So, you know, guys like Ben Simmons or Lonzo Ball, right now they are technically in their prime in the sense that this is their best year ever. So I guess it's more so based off of, you know, NBA players in their best year ever. Just because, like, we have no idea what Ben Simmons or Lonzo Ball or Jason Tatum, you know, guys like that. We have no idea what they're going to be like down the road. But don't worry, guys. I do have a different video I will be doing in the future, man, based off all that stuff, too. So this is just a different type of video. Um, so as we go to the rosters right here, you go to all the players just to get like a peep out of what everybody's looking like. LeBron James, of course, you know, based off his prime 99 overall player. I um, mean, wear number six like he did in the Miami Heat because that was probably his best year. Like I think it was his last season in the Miami Heat, probably his best season like uh, statistic wise. Although he's definitely making a run of that for this actual real NBA season we're currently in. You got Kevin Durant, Dwayne Wade, 97 overall. That Cleveland Cavaliers team is going to be absolutely deadly in the simulation. We got Dirk Nowitzki still on the Dallas Mavericks for 20 years now. 97 overall, so hopefully he's, he can make some noise out in the uh, Western Conference. We got Chris Paul, 97 overall. We all know he was a beast back, you know, on the Clippers, but also on the um, Hornets back in the day too. So him and James Harden are going to be even better this season. Kawhi Leonard, we got Stephen Curry, Giannis, Giannis, I mean, they're in their primes right now, right? Vince Carter, yes, guys. Vince Carter is currently on the Sacramento Kings. So guess what, Sacramento? I always roast you guys in my other videos, but this video, we are actually going to pay attention to your team because I want to see what this man, Vince Sandy, can do on this team. I mean, this dude is literally half man, half amazing. The fact that he's 40 years old and still jamming on teams is absolutely just insane. Uh, James Harden, oh, my bad, I don't want to go to the Wizards. Uh, we got Derrick Rose, another player that's going to help beast up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Dwight Howard on the Charlotte Hornets with Kem Walker. 95 overall, going back to his Orlando Magic days. Anthony Davis, Carmelo Anthony. Ooh, then we got the uh, freaking cornrows and everything going up in there, man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Russell Westbrook, we all know him. Tony Parker, uh, you know, over on the Spurs. Simon Kawhi Leonard, especially Maja Ginobili too. Marcus Saul, DeMarcus Cousins, Pau Gasol. Uh, he's on the Spurs. Not damn, the Spurs are going to be a really nice team in the simulation here. Milo Ginobili, Paul George, Kevin Love. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of going through the list here just so you guys can get a feel for the roster. You can see some of the uh, 90 overall players here. Joe Johnson's back when he was on the Hawks. Uh, Jason Terry, he's going to bring some actual really good shooting, man. Legit. I knew his, I, I know that his best days, I believe, was on the Dallas Mavericks. But, you know, him on the uh, Bucks with Giannis facing the floor is going to be very nice. Isaiah Thomas, probably going to be a backup point guard to Derrick Rose and the Cavaliers. Now we got Zebo. So, Kings are actually having a nice roster here, guys. But, yeah, so for the most part, this roster is pretty accurate. I mean, like I'm saying, man, this is based off of years past. We are not looking into the future of this. Like I said, that's for a different video. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind when we're doing the simulation right here. So, let's go ahead and simulate through date. See how this, you know, see how all these teams do out here, I guess we should say. And, uh, I don't know, man, it just be so much fun, like, just seeing all of these NBA players go up against each other. Like, I wish, man, you know, if there was a bitch-ass genie in this world. And he's like, all right, Crispy Flakes, you got three wishes. Well, first, I would wish for some McDonald's because I'm hungry and I'm a plate cleaner. Uh, second, I would wish for some Taco Bell because that goes without saying. If I'm getting these McDonald's, you got to give me some Taco Bell too. Go with the plate cleaner. Um, you wish for that. Third thing, the third thing I'm wishing for is make every single NBA player, for one, have zero injury issues and also be in their prime because just the style of basketball out there would be absolutely crazy. And I don't know, man, just like... This video makes me really happy because I know I got, you know, a lot of, uh, yo, give me one second, guys. Let me do all this bitch ass stuff here real quick. Give me one second, then I'll talk some more about it. But yeah, guys, so like I was saying here, man, like we've all started watching basketball at different times in our lives. We all have different memories with it. We all have our different favorite teams out there. So I don't know. I was just going through this roster. It just made me really happy to see all these players that, like, I once grew up watching and loving. You know, they, they, of course, they fall off like Dirk Nowitzki. He's nowhere near where he used to be. Or Jason Terry, just some of the clutch shots he's had in his career. Joe Johnson, just a lot of these guys. It's fun being able to kind of pay, like, pay them some respect in this video right here. Because, of course, we're in a new era of basketball. I mean, I'll probably say, like, every, like, probably, like, 10 to 15 years is really when a new era starts. It's just, like, when all the guys that you were used to watching, they are either at the end of their career or, you know, they've retired. You know, just things like, you know, your Kobe Bryant's of the world and all those guys out there. So I don't know, man. I know I personally started watching basketball um, 2004. Detroit Piston hype beast, of course. I was only 12, so you know it's it's okay. It's okay. Man. I could be a hype beast at 12 years old. It's okay. So if you are, I'll probably say 13 year old is the hype beast cutoff. After that, then you're just a bandwagon fan, right? So I don't know, man. Um, I want to know from you guys in the comment section below what is like your all time favorite year of basketball? Like, what was the season you just remember watching it and just loving it? I mean, you watch every single one of your favorite teams, your your favorite teams' uh, games and everything like that. You know, for me, man, 
I know 2004 was like the year the Pistons won it, but it was it really wasn't that season that really like I, I was absolutely in love with basketball just because I was still pretty young. I was still just learning the sport and everything. I think uh, when, when you're 12 years old, what grade is that in school? I know I just started playing basketball, I think, for the first time and everything like that. So I don't know, man. It, it really was more like the, uh, I think like 2008, 2000, no, probably like, probably 2006, 2007. I remember I watched every single Pistons game, man. And I know at that point, like, they were still making it to the Eastern Conference and stuff. Even now, it's like, yeah, 2017, I watch a lot of my Pistons now because they're dominating, but I just love watching other teams too. Um, really like the 2010, 2011, 2012, those years with prime Derrick Rose was just so much fun watching LeBron James on the heat. Um, a lot of that just, I don't know, man, I, I just recognize it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it was so exciting. And even now I feel like the NBA is in great hands, which is why I do want to do a video in the future about every single NBA player reaching their max potential. Your Ben Simmons of the world, because in your Giannis is just because the NBA is in such great hands. But this video is more so just to play respect towards the guys of the past here. So uh, the Sacramento Kings with a prime Vince Carter and Zach Randolph, 44 and 37 on the season. Uh, what else we got? We got the Thunder uh, in first place. Yeah, that makes sense because they got Melo and Paul George and Russell Westbrook and Steve Adams, and they're all in their primes. Uh, Warriors, Spurs, Rockets, Pelicans, Timberwolves, Clippers. So not really any like big like upsets here. Uh, we'll simulate through date, then we'll also check out the Eastern Conference standings too. So we finished the L right through all the Kings do. LeBron James again, MVP. And uh, about 25 points, 8, 9 rebounds, 9 assists out there. Getting the steals, getting the blocks. Might actually be the uh, defensive player of the year. Now, I do think prime LeBron James is more close to like a 30-point per game score. But at the same time, you still got Derrick Rose and Dwayne Wade on that team. So, Lonzo the ball getting rookie of the year. We got Mal Ginobili, six man on the Spurs. That, man, dude, so many good... So many bad memories watching the Spurs because they beat up my Pistons a lot, like in the finals and stuff. But so many good memories with this team, too. I just remember this one time. It was uh, Spurs versus the Phoenix Suns. Tim Duncan, like, made, like, a three-cent in the overtime or something like that. Absolutely crazy. Loved it. We got Dwight Howard, MV, or no, Defense Player of the Year, about 19 points, 12 rebounds. We get about one, two steals and nearly three blocks a game. I definitely respect that. And Vin how are you going to give Vince Sandy most improved player, man? His freaking best year was on Toronto. We averaged like 27 points. He's been there, done that. That's disrespectful, bitch-ass Ryan 2K. I mean, that's Vince Sandy right there. He's not, not most improved. Maybe most improved from last year. Maybe that's what it's based off of. I, I actually don't know what the most improved award is based off of. I don't know if it's like your whole entire career or just like from one season to the next. All right, so we got... Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook in the backcourt for NBA First Team. LeBron James, Dirk Nowitzki, and DeMarcus Cousins still making over a guy like Dwight Howard. Who do you guys think is better, man? Like DeMarcus Cousins or, du or Prime Dwight Howard? All NBA second, we got Stephen Curry, James Harden. Uh, Zebo made it 90 overall. Paul George and also Pau Gasol, LME third. Uh, Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan. So we got that Raptors backcourt. Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, and Marcus Gasol making it too. All defensive team looking like this is Dwayne Wade, Giannis, Dwight, LeBron, Russell Westbrook. So many great defensive players right there. All defenses right there. And the rookies, which is not really all that important for this video. But all right, I do want to check out some player stats here, of course. And um, of course, look at the standings for the Eastern Conference too. Come here, look at the West. So conference, we're in the, the uh, Western, Eastern. So Cavaliers. So Charlotte Hornets actually balled out, and sometimes they actually do that NBA 2K18, but I'm kind of okay with it in this case because you do have Kemba Walker and you do have a prime Dwight Howard, so it just makes sense there, I suppose. Uh, Toronto Raptors, you got your Boston Celtics, Miami Heat. I can't really think who's on the Miami Heat that would be like, I guess Goran Dragic in his prime. Hassan Whiteside's already kind of in his prime, so besides for that, I can't really think why that team did all that good. Washington Wizards, they just have a good team right now in general with John Wall and Bradley Beal. 76ers, same song and dance. Uh, New York Knicks. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of surprised. Like, my Pistons went 32 and 50, although they, they don't really have any, like, older players to really boost up their roster. So, I guess I can see why they would kind of fall off a bit. Same for the rest of, you know, some of these other teams out here. Chicago Bulls don't really have any old guys that would have been in their prime either. They have a lot of young guys right now. Hawks, best player, Dennis Schroeder. All right, so we got, uh, let's go to, yeah, league leaders on the season. So, the top score was Dirk Nowitzki at nearly 30 points per game, grabbing 13 rebounds. Rebound might be a little over exaggerated. I don't remember him ever being that great of a rebounder in his career, but I guess we'll check it out here real quick. Yeah, he was never really like a great rebounder, but you know, I guess you know, 12 rebounds, maybe this NBA with more small ball, maybe it would happen. Who knows? Kyrie Irving, second leading score, just how he is. CJ McCollum, third leading score. Okay, I mean, I think he's a very underrated shooting guard, but damn, like some of the talent he beat out here DeMar DeRozan, Kemba Walker, him and Dwight Howard balled out. Stephen Curry. Uh, we got Paul George and Russell Westbrook, both averaging 25 points per game. Uh, both grabbing some rebounds. The assist game looking nicely out there. LeBron James doing his thing. Carmelo. Damn, that's that's the big three the freaking Thunder need. Is they need Carmelo in his prime. Not know this. I don't know how he is. Now, y'all know how he is. 
Zebo did did work out there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the playoffs, I suppose. Um, I'm not really like rooting for any specific team, although I'm kind of rooting for the Kings just because I always roast them. So they're not going to beat the Thunder. Simulate current rounds, see how this goes. And oh, okay, so Raptors are out, T Wolves are out, Knicks are out, Heat are out, Clippers gone, Pelicans gone, 76ers gone, Kings gone. Well, I mean, I don't know why I sound so surprised. They're like, oh my God, the eight seed lost. I, I want to see what this Knicks team's looking like. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess they got a prime Joakim Noah. So I guess this bitch ass contract means something about Michael Beasley. 80 overall, yeah, that seems right. He, he might be like 82, like in his prime days. I guess that's about right. Okay, what do we got? We got OKC, Houston, Golden State, Spurs, uh, Charlotte, Wizards, Celtics, and Cavaliers. So outside of like the Hornets here, this is actually a pretty realistic playoff matchup right here. Simulate current round. Uh, Celtics gone. Warriors gone. Already bitch ass Warriors gone. Wow, Thunder gone too. Damn, dude. So we got the Hornets and Cavs versus the Spurs and the Houston Rockets in the finals. I knew the Spurs and the Houston were both going to be your tough outings, but I really thought the, uh, OKC, and the OKC Thunder were going to win this, guys. Simulate current round, see how this goes. Yeah, Hornets just got freaking swept. I saw that happen a mile away. All right, so Spurs and Cavaliers. Damn, dude. This is kind of like some old school basketball matchups right here. Uh, looking at the Spurs team, I mean, you know, you know, you know what this team's all about already? You know who they got on here? And um, we already know the Cavaliers, too, but we'll check out some stats here. Kevin Love. I, oh, I forgot about Prime Kevin Love, too. Yeah. Him from the Timberwolves putting up them 30-20 games. He did that, like, one time. It was pretty damn impressive. Here we go. Simulate current rounds. And the San Antonio Spurs beat out the Cleveland Cavaliers four games to one. Pau Gasol getting the MVP here. Maybe the Lakers should have kept him just for the sake of this video. Although, you know, it's 2K, so it's not like it's real life. And teams got to do what they got to do. It's all a business out there. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this type of video. Let me know in the comment section below if you didn't make it this far in the video here. Um, who is your favorite all-time NBA player? Because, like I said, we all have our memories of NBA players. Who is your favorite player of all time? I'm sure a lot of you guys know mine by now. It's Chauncey Billups. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends.